There is a part of your brain called the reticular activating system. It, it is part of your primitive brain. Um, it, it, its main function is to keep you alive, if, if, if you think about it. Uh, it. It drives your heart, it, makes, it helps your breathing and all the other parts of the nervous system. But you, you actually can control it as well. Um, it, it's where the concept of the law of attraction actually comes from. Um, how it, um, best example is this, um, you, you remember you bought a car, bought a car the first time? Yeah, and um, you think, wow, that car's gonna be unique. Yeah, um, there's not many of that cars on the road. And as soon as you drive out of the car yard, it's everywhere. And in fact, it's in the same color and make that yours is, but it wasn't there before. And that's because your unconscious, your reticular activating system, your RAS has been turned on. Now, the RAS works for other aspects of your life as well. So if this is something that you, you find useful to you, you will turn that, your RAS will turn on to that and you will notice things about it. Yeah, it, it's, it's where that law of attraction mind, uh, science really comes from, if, the, if it was ever gonna be based on science. Um, it, it is that, that concept. It, it is that fact that yes, you can call things towards you because you are actively working towards it. If, if that's, that's just as one part of it, by the way. Does that, does that help a little bit? Yeah. yeah. So it's not being on guard, it's opening up your mind to it and it'll actually come to you. You'll go, oh, yeah. Uh, yep, I know because I'm, I'm aware of my reactions. I know what I need to do and just be aware of it. Yeah, look, like I said, it's a practice. I was just going to say, it's a practice thing. It's taken me a while, and then sometimes <laughs> you go to react and then go, hang on a minute. And I, I just think about what just happened. Yep. And how, how I just how I felt like tonight, I was coming up here and I had a cyclist drive straight and go straight in front of me as I was going across the side street. Yep. And he had no lights on, he was in dark clothes. Mm. And he yelled mm. at me. Yeah, like it's your fault. Yeah. yeah. I almost hit him. Yep. And I had my window down and I just said, well, if you were in high rise and had a light on, I'd see you. Mm. And then I started thinking, I could have hit him. Mm -hmm. So I almost went into a panic and went, no, it's okay, he's alive, he's, he's still riding, nothing happened. Yep. It's okay, and then I just switched it off and just kept driving. Yeah. Worry about it. So mm. that's the things. I mean, apart from when I had a major car accident last year, mm. um, and that really messed with yeah. me because I couldn't understand why it happened because I'm a big believer in things happen for a reason. Yep. And I couldn't understand why it happened to me. I walked away alive. Mm. They can't believe that. But. <coughs> For so many months, I'd sit there and go, why? Why did it happen to me? I don't know what I've done. Yeah. I can't understand. I've been following the law of attraction. Yep. And I can't understand how well, that Maybe happened. that reason hasn't come out yet. So, yeah, when they say that there's a lesson in everything, you've got to take that. There's something for you to learn from the things that happen in your life. And I'm, I just haven't figured that <laughs> one out. So I'm just going, it's okay. Yep. I haven't figured that out yet. Yep. I'm alive, so that's fine. So. you got to find you got to find my meaning video because it'll help you with that. Can I, can I give you some insight? Yeah. Sometimes the lesson is there is no lesson. Okay. <laughs> Stuff happens, yeah? Good things happen to bad people, bad things happen to good people. It's yeah. just life. Yeah. And sometimes when we look too far for our meaning, we can spend our days looking at it and never living life. Yeah. yeah? And that's just an insight. Like, yeah. yeah. That, that might be the thing. It might be that, hey, it was an accident. That's why they're called accidents. Um, th there is no purpose in accidents. If you can find a meaning, great. Sometimes it, life just gives you something that has no meaning at all. It could be the meaning that you need to get from it was that you needed to be resilient when bad things happen. That could be the only meaning you could take from it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that's part of what life is. It's, um, sometimes we can look for meaning too, long, too often, too long, uh, and not live life. But uh, we digress beautifully. But thank you for sharing about the practice part, because that's what we want you guys to understand. It's a share, uh, a skill that you've got to practice. And you'll stuff up, but you, there'll be days when you're, like I say, my, my biggest one is my, my anger. Yeah, I'm fully aware it comes. I'm fully aware when it's coming, but yet sometimes that, that red blind goes around and I, and I, and I do it, yeah? And, and it, it, hey, it's less now than when I was younger, but I still know it's come, it comes and goes. So it is something that I'm aware of. And like I said, um, there is no mastering as such. 
uh, if you can, good kudos for you and more uh, power for your life to be. But if you don't get it straight away, that's good too. So practice every day is what we're talking about. Cool? So that's automatic behaviors, which leaves us to the final component, which is 